when america sneezes the world catches cold goes a famous saying this is often used to explain the ripple effects of american actions on politics policy and economics around the world in recent years india has faced several geopolitical challenges including enduring conflicts with pakistan rising tension with china the russia ukraine crisis and so on these events have created volatility and uncertainty in financial markets in this video let us learn how to navigate through these rough seas Welcome to holisticinvestment.in Before we start discussing how to mitigate and safeguard our investment portfolio we will first see how we as a nation have reacted to some of the geopolitical risks in the recent past Russia Ukraine war the Russian president ordered the annexation of Ukraine on February 24 2022 and the whole of the world reacted sharply to this news 30 30 countries imposed uh, sanction against Russia Russia retaliated by imposing sanction on those countries this led to the collapse of russian currency and worsened the economic impact caused by the war indian stock market fell by around 5% on feb 24th on account of the war breaking out and the index was making lower lows for the next 2 weeks this changed on 10th of march 2022 the indian market started reversing kick starting a mini rally that lasted for a month even today the war is continuing but the impact from the perspective of this conflict seems to have been consumed by the economy next the covid crisis we all know how covid wrecked havoc in our lives in 2020 the gdp of all the countries bearing china nose dived according to ceic india's economic growth was down by 23.9% as compared to its previous year on year growth This was uh, the worst fall in India's economic history. Many of us have made mistakes by selling our investment portfolio and anticipating further drawdowns, isn't it? But didn't we recover from this? Yes, we not only recovered from this huge fall, uh, but we w- went to uh, went on to make new highs. Actually, we lost approximately forty percent of our wealth in about uh, three odd months and gained around one forty seven percent in the next two years. The above two examples are pretty recent ones that one can think of where we went haywire and then recovered quickly. On a global scale, we do see many geopolitical things happening. Some of other geopolitical issues include a Lehman Group uh, crisis, Brexit, demonetization, 9/11 terror attack, uh, Cargill war and so on. In all these events, we as a nation were beaten down, but we managed to overcome those and create new heights. Okay now that we have seen we overcome all such economic crises do you know these instances can be made beneficial for retail investors like us it can be made beneficial in the following two ways good time for financial investments by large the fundamentals haven't changed and all the volatility and drawdowns are because of geopolitical risk in all the previous examples we discussed that our uh, economy rebounded from the lows it is a good opportunity for people who had missed out investing earlier so for a long term investor like us we should cash in on every such opportunity which are once in a blue moon you can very well average your stocks or get more units in your mutual funds new avenues of investment every major geopolitical risk paves way for newer reforms and policies in the country in the 1990s globalization and liberalization happened and that is precisely when our economy opened up and started to gather pace Uh, similarly post covid india adopted the china plus 1 narrative where the plans was to reduce its dependencies on china for uh, some of the imports in pharma and electronic segments this created a thirst for uh, indian companies and helps to build a more resilient and less vulnerable to geopolitical risk as a retail investor if we can manage to spot such companies in the early stage uh, we can make a good return in the long run next we shall shift our focus on how to mitigate this risk well no strategy can fully eliminate geopolitical risk somehow we can face the, these financial uncertainties with a soft cushion effect do not pull all your eggs in the same basket don't invest everything into a single sector or a single asset class uh, suffering a loss in one investment could erase all the wealth you have built up diversify yourself into different asset classes and within the same asset class as well 
You can read one of our similar blogs on portfolio diversification to understand more about this. The link is given in the description box. Next, proper asset allocation and rebalancing. Uh, asset allocation is a process of dividing an investment portfolio among different asset categories such as stocks, bond, real estate, commodities, cash, mutual funds and so on. The purpose of asset allocation is to balance uh, risk and reward by diversifying investment across different asset classes. Consider you are uh, nearing one of your financial goals. By this time, all your investments should be in short term debt funds. This eliminates the immediate jerks in the markets and safeguards your capital. When your goal is more than 5 years ahead, you can invest in equity funds. Even if you face a major catastrophic event, you will still have time to recover financially. Next, continue investing. Systematic investment plans. SIPs help in mitigating all such unforeseen financial circumstances. You need not worry about what the market situation is. If the markets are going higher, then your financial investments are going, growing with the help of the accumulated units. Just in case it is a bear market, you get to accumulate units at lower prices. This helps you to generate a sufficient corpus by, uh, by the end of your tenure. Other than uh, rupee cost averaging benefit, you enjoy numerous benefits when investing via SAP. Next, country based investing, the theory of correlation. In finance, correlation is a statistical measure that calculates the degree to which two investments move in relation to each other. The value of correlation coefficient is expected to fall between minus 1 and plus 1. We should always consider investment instruments having negative correlations as the alternate investment. This leads us to a whole new set of investing called international investing or country based investing. This can help us ride the volatility wave and improve the performance of our investment portfolio. For the purpose of diversification, retailers can either invest directly or through funds of funds operated from India that invest directly in foreign equity. You can simply invest in their indexed fund example S&P 500 index fund or Nasdaq 100 funds. Having exposure of 5-10% to in international funds is considered smart. On the flip side, these international investments also have their demerits. As an informed investor, you should study all the possibilities, only then invest. Bottom line, uh, geopolitical events can have a major effect on financial markets and uh, global economy presenting challenges for retail investors like us. When we invest for a longer period, there will certainly be some sort of events that keep happening in the world economy which may result in crashes. Time and again, we have witnessed that markets recover and continue scaling heights. There is no point in worrying, rather we should follow these risk mitigation techniques to build a resilient portfolio to withstand all this geopolitical risk and economic shocks. If you need any guidance on building a diversified portfolio that can withstand geopolitical economic risk, you can consult your financial advisor before investing. A detailed blog post on this topic is available in our website. The link is given in the description box. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions related to this or any other investment option or related to your financial goal, don't hesitate to book a free appointment with our financial planners. The link to the free booking is given in the description box below. Also, will you be interested to attend any insightful investment webinar? Then feel free to register for the upcoming enlightening investment webinar. It is completely free. The registration link for the upcoming webinar is also given in the description box. If you like this video, please give us thumbs up. Also, share it with your social circle. If you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel so far, please subscribe now.